Hi guys and welcome to this tutorial on how to breed perfect IV Pokemon. Okay, so um, we're not going to be using RNG. Uh, to my knowledge there hasn't been a method found for RNG in Pokemon X and Y yet. And um, to be honest it's a really complicated process anyway. This is a, a lot, lot, lot simpler. So that's why I'm discussing it. What's changed? Well... Firstly, egg moves have become different. In previous generations, Pokemon could only learn these from inheriting them from the father only. Now they can be inherited from the mother as well. Uh, the Friend Safari is another way. This is a place in Collode City that contains only Pokemon with at least two perfect 31 IVs. Obviously this dramatically speeds up breeding for stats, and you can make use of these IVs by catching male Pokemon that belong to the same egg group of the Pokemon you're interested in breeding for. I'll explain this in a bit more detail a bit later, but that's all you need to know for now. Okay, as in every Pokemon game, you can find a Netherstone, and this enables you to pass down uh, the desired nature from a parent. You, uh, all you have to do is make sure that the parent has a Netherstone. Uh, it's holding a Netherstone when you breathe it, when you breathe them, sorry and uh, the nature will be passed down from the parent um, and it's found in this game in Geosinge Town okay so that's where you want to head if you want the Everstone another useful uh, tool uh, that, that's been around a while for a while but if I'm not mistaken it's been changed slightly are the power items so that's the the power weight, the power bracer etc um, these are usually used for speeding up EV training in a certain stat but now if you give them to a parent when you're breeding them uh, it'll guarantee that they have the same IV, that the offspring has the same IV as the parent in that stat. You can get these in the battle maze on from getting battle points. Another really cool item for IV breeding in these games is the destiny knot, because normally when the parents are bred, the offspring can only receive a theoretical maximum of three of the parents' IV stat of three IV stats from their parent. However, if one of the parents is holding the destiny knot, the number of IVs that can be inherited is increased to a theoretical maximum of 5 and obviously this uh, makes the process of IV breeding far more efficient because it's much quicker to get IVs onto Pokemon if the IVs are good enough uh, that you want to use them. Uh, you can get the Destiny Knot in the Silage City Hotel in the game. Another thing that's essential for um, efficient IV breeding is the IV Judge. He's located in the Clode City Pokemon Center and he'll say to you when you talk to him if your Pokemon has a flawless i.e. a 31 IV stat that uh, X stat, for example the speed stat, can simply not be beat and if it's not 31 he'll say something else. Okay so now we've got all of those things out of the way. Um, here's a very rough guide to IV breeding for the perfect Pokemon, a flawless Pokemon. Okay, this isn't, uh, you can take, you can do this any way you like really, but this is just a very rough guide of how you might go about doing it. Okay, so the first thing you'll want to do is research what egg group the offspring you want is, so the Pokemon that you want to breed for is, and head to the Friend Safari to catch a male Pokemon that belongs to this egg group. And as a tip, I'd advise you use a Pokemon with the ability Synchronize, I, I spoke it wrong here, but Synchronize, um, as your leading Pokemon because then you can control the nature of the Pokemon that you catch. Uh, the, the nature of the Pokemon with Synchronize um, will be the same as the nature of the Pokemon that you find. That's what the ability does. Okay, so then what you'll want to do, if you want the nature to be passed on, attach an Everstone to the male from the Friend Safari, which has the, uh, the flawless IVs and two stats as a feature of being from the Friend Safari. And breed it with a female that is the same species of Pokemon, i.e. it's the, the Pikachu and the one you want, the offspring you want is a Pikachu as well. Um, yeah, breed them together because that's the way that you would get the egg to hatch as the Pokemon that you want. And um, you want to keep hatching eggs until you find a, um, a one with IVs in the stack that you want. And then uh, replace the old female, give this one the Everstone, and then um, you'll have two Pokemon that are breeding together with 31 IV stats. And that's a lot better. Okay, so then if the male has a decent number of perfect IVs, give it the destiny knot, as we were talking about earlier, because this will maximise the chance of passing all of these IVs on. If he doesn't, give him a power item, 
Um, so you can pass on certain 31 IV stats. He's definitely going to have at least two, remember. So uh, that's what you'll want to do. Okay, then finally what you want to do is keep repeating and replacing better Pokemon for weaker Pokemon and giving them uh, the, the correct items so that you can constantly breed, be breeding Pokemon with better IVs with better IVs to increase the, the uh, probability of getting a flawless, uh, i.e. Every single, every single stat being um, 31, the highest it can possibly be. Okay, thanks a bunch for watching, guys. Uh, like and subscribe, and I promise I'll get better at commentary. I know there were lots of errs and ums and all of that rubbish, but um, I, I intend to improve. I intend to make more videos, and it means a lot to me if you would uh, click click the link in the video to subscribe and uh, perhaps like. Thanks for watching. I'll see you soon.